So I'm going to be showing you all the fight of Undyne versus Pearl, Steven Universe versus Undertale. So um, I have three disclaimers. If you haven't, the first the first two are if you have not seen the Mo the Mortal Showdown trailer and the Undyne vs. Pearl rundown, please check those out because then you'll understand what I'm dealing with and who the and why the winner was the winner. Also, the third disclaimer is don't get all salty if the loser was your favorite of the two. I am not biased. I am actually generating research from a versus battle wiki. So I am, I mean, it may be a wiki, but still. Anyway, let's get started with the animation. Then I'll go to the post analysis. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, not gonna lie, this fight was the closest, and even though it was the first episode, it was kind of crazy. Let's start off with why Pearl is the winner. Now, despite my personal bias towards Undertale more than Steven Universe, I have to give the win to Pearl. Now, if you looked at the rundown, um, and I, this is your last warning to click off the video, and go to the um, rundown because then you understand why what the advantages and disadvantages are but to put it slightly undyne had three advantages pearl had four which signals how close the fight was this also tells the fact that this is probably the only time i will ever put my um Winning to Pearl, unless she fights someone else that I have more bias for. But still. So, let's talk about why Pearl is the winner of the fight. Now. Now, going ahead and getting into the tier pers perspective, you'll notice that Undyne is a 9A tier fighter, whereas Pearl is only 7C. Which means that Undyne has a higher tier... T fighting tier of the two characters, giving her her first point of the match. But then her attack potency is only small, small building, whereas un, whereas Pearl's is small town, giving her a bigger advantage in terms of that regard. But Undyne, to be fair, Undyne is also better at lifting strength and has the better abilities, not like it, and has the better abilities, like it or not. But that doesn't really count since that is just arsenal based. And since she cannot really overwhelm Pearl, and since Pearl doesn't, and since Pearl is a gem, therefore not being affected by most magic, Pearl can't really be affected by most of Undyne's arsenal. Undyne can actually confuse Pearl with her spears, but she can't really inflict. And since she does have a lot of lifting strength, she could basically suplex Undyne. But she could. Technically, suplex Pearl or a boulder just to put some pieces in Pearl, just to send um, the debris of the boulder straight running straight toward Pearl. But it's kind of hard to notice that Pearl is is tough enough to take those hits. She has been confirmed more tougher and has more and having more stamina than Undyne. But how does she how can she take down Pearl's undying form? Well, it's not really that easy, especially with the glitch tail sphere of justice, which is technically part of the Undertale story. It's a fan it's a fan it's an alternate universe, sure, but I still think it should be added in the fight. I don't care if you all disagree with me, I still think that that it should go. Also, First off, Pearl didn't... Now, what you're wondering is... Hey, Queen of Blade 70. Undyne can't really manipulate objects that are inanimate. 
Um, she has minor telekinesis, so technically, yes, she can. She has, uh, she can, she technically has telekinesis, so what you're saying is quite wrong. Also, some people are saying, some people might actually say, but Kunoblade 70, Pearl is nowhere near as, as strong or durable as Undyne. She can't really penetrate Undyne's armor, and she has no chance against the Undyne form. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But until I actually did research, and it turns out Pearl is higher, has higher attack potency, and is tougher, and has more stamina than Undyne. Finally, range. Undyne can only go about tens of meters, whereas, whereas having actual energy attacks instead of just spears to throw at will, Pearl does have a little bit more range than Undyne. So in the end, Pearl is the winner of the first episode of Mortal Showdown, and I'll be revealing the next time, well, next time. But for now, enjoy the first episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!